Hey guys, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can scrape emails from LinkedIn. Before that, uh, our free cold calling course has been launched. So if you guys want, you can go ahead and sign up for free. In the description, uh, you'll find some a link somewhere. So go ahead and do that and you can start making cold calls. You will learn like all the tricks and tactics there is to cold calls, best scripts that we have. So me and Bhavish both have collaborated on that. Uh, of course to make like you know a really good course for you guys so go ahead and uh, give it a try all right so let's dive into this video i have made a lot of videos on cold calls how you can like you know, extract uh, phone numbers to build a cold calling list but in this video we are going to talk about the same thing but it's going to be email list okay so scraping email from linkedin and then building an email list and starting a whole lot of uh, whole email marketing campaign because that's the only purpose they'll be extracting these emails for all right so before uh, we start the video we are going to need some websites and these are going to be absolutely free websites for you guys so let's look into these websites so uh, the first thing that we are going to do is going to look into recruit in.net okay and this video you can look for exact title uh, country location keyword keyword to exclude everything so let's like look for dentists let's like you know say let's say you are running a marketing agency for dentists so we are that's what we are going to do all right so we are going to look uh, dentists as job title and uh, for the location or keyword you can include any location in the United States let's say if you want to include New York any specific city state you can do that if not then probably fine just like you know, leave it alone education you don't have to worry about that current employer I mean, you don't even have to worry about that because you don't want any specific uh, company or any specific uh, dental clinic to find just like you know, want to do a really uh, generic search keyword to exclude you don't want to exclude anything from here so just like you know basically just find the right people on LinkedIn okay and this will find you, uh, this will give you a search query, which is going to be uh, open in Google. So this is what you are going to do. You are going to open this in Google. And once you click here, okay, you will see the list of all these dentists. And we have tons of pages, okay? We have at least 10 pages and we have lots of results. Even if I click 10, I'm still going to see more, okay? So that's the fun part. All right, uh, before you move forward, I want you to do like you know, change a little bit of setting. I cannot do that in my computer, in my MacBook, but if you have a window computer, you think you should, I think you should be able to change that. Go into the quick settings, go into search, see all search setting, and you will see some like uh, increase the size of the search page. So by default, it's on 10. Okay, so I want you to increase it to 100. You will see it somewhere over here uh, in the settings. Like, you know, I think it's the first option. So just increase it to 100 because this will give you the maximum results. Um, a lot more results in just a single page. Okay, so I want you to do that. We will uh, see why it's important in the later part of the video. But I cannot do that for some reason. I tried. I like, you know, looked it over, but there was no option. I could not increase it. Uh, maybe if you guys know how I can do that, let me know in the comments. But yeah, uh, so I can only see 10 results here. That would be enough for me to demonstrate what I'm trying to do here. So the next thing that you are going to do is you are going to include a uh, few things here. So you are going to look for email, okay? And you are going to look for email from gmail.com because that's the most prominent one. We are also going to cover the other email uh, service providers such as Hotmail, Yahoo. But first we'll be starting with gmail.com okay so just make sure of this you have to use this format email at gmail.com and make sure that you have proper caps and everything okay once you have this link just click return i mean enter and uh, yeah just make sure that you're not a robot okay now you will see a lot of emails being popped up here so you see email is equal to email is uh, this and so, so you are, you're going to see a lot more emails now Okay, in the previous videos, there was in the previous page, there was no email. I can show you. Okay, so in this page, oh, come on. In this page, uh, oh, God, yeah. So in this page, there was, there were no emails. You can see, right? There were no emails. So it's going to be very hard for you, just like an you know, open every LinkedIn account, look for emails. But uh, once, like, you know, you change that query and you will have the emails right here, okay? Some of the uh, profile you are not going to find the emails, but most of these profiles you should be able to get these emails 
fairly quickly and easily once you have these emails now the uh, challenge is how are you how you're going to download these emails so we are going to use another website for this to extract every single email that we have here the only uh, problem with this like you know uh, uh, with this method is you cannot get the exact name but I think like you know you should have the emails and you can start a generic email marketing campaign it should be more than enough for you guys to like, you know, get some uh, get some uh, clients from the same email list that you have. But the good thing about this uh, method is like, you can build thousands of email lists within a matter of minutes, okay? So that's the most important thing. All right, so now we'll need an email extracting uh, website. So email extractor, emailchecker.net. So just like, you know, keep a note of all these websites that I'm using, emailchecker.net, this is the uh, website that you are going to use. And in the menu, I want you to select email extractor. Okay. Once you do that, so this is where we are going to uh, make the use of all the 100 pages that we are going to increase our settings to. So let's say if you have 100 of the pages, okay, so I want you to copy and paste this page, entirely entire page and just copy and paste it over here and then extract. All right, so you see now we have at least, I think we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven emails. So this is what we need to do uh quite few of the time so let's say i'm just going to pop everything over here but once you have a bigger list a bigger search page you will be getting a lot more emails right so let's say if you can get it to 100 uh 100 results you'll be getting 100 or 90 emails in just like you know, one extraction one one search so if you can do that i definitely suggest like you know make it 100 before doing that with my macbook i cannot like you know find it this i cannot find the settings but Please do that before extracting all the emails, okay? So what I have to do, I have to, I, I still can do that really uh, fairly quickly, but I have to like, you know, check every single page and it's going to take more time than usual, but I can still, I can extract a lot more emails. So you see, I'm extra, I have extracted another set of email. So I'm just going to paste it here once more, okay? So I can keep doing that and in within like, you know, 10 minutes, I will have more than like, I can say 200, 300 emails, right? So let's say I will move on to the third page, just copy paste and, uh, oops. And then like, you know, just clear this one, upload this one, extract the email. All right. So now you see we have a list of, I don't know, maybe about 35, 40 emails. Okay, yeah, at least 25 emails. So this is how I was able to extract uh, 25 emails in less than two minutes right and that's what I mean it's it's more than two minutes but still uh, you get my point uh, if you have 100 pages uh, search list you can get you can extract more than uh, 100 emails in just like you know one extraction so this is how you should be doing that and then like and again I want to review all the softwares all the websites that we did so we are going to use recruitin.net for finding all these dentists list and then we are going to run it over Google we are going to make change to this uh, link to this query and once we have that we'll be getting all the emails and then we can extract all these emails okay so in this video we're not going to go de uh, detail into the email marketing or the email campaign but i'll be covering that part in some other video how you can launch an effective email marketing campaign which is going to get you conversions because like you know email marketing and, and email marketing is rather easier than cold calling because for cold calling you have to be actively involved but for the email marketing once like you know you uh, plan plan an email marketing campaign you start turn it on and then like you know, you'll just be waiting for responses but the only thing that we have to make sure of that your the email ids that you're using is not sending all these emails in some spam folder because that's when like you'll get you'll get no response at all so now you have at least 25 lists. So this is like in how you can build at least 1000 email lists and probably start your own email marketing campaign. If you're good with that, you'll be closing clients, no doubt. And this is like, you know, probably a hack where you can, you can send 1000 emails to 1000 uh, emails every single day. And then like, you know, you can, you can convert to appointments, you can close more deals from it. We've been like, you know, doing that. We do some email marketing, we do some cold calling, but like, you know, again, we are closing clients from every single platform that we can utilize and we are like you know, utilizing them with 100 percent efficiencies to making sure like you know that we are not leaving anything uh or like we are not leaving any revenue sources 
okay so i think that's it for my this video guys and i hope you like this video if you like it definitely drop a comment like subscribe share whatever like you know, think uh, it's worth and i will see you in the next one if you have any question do not forget to ask do not hesitate to like you know comment and uh just like you know remember guys everybody is learning and everybody like is starting it's like you know so yeah do not do not hesitate to ask okay i don't know what to say so go ahead and uh try this method out and i'll see you in the next one all right guys signing out